guys. Um, my next uh, scene on the, the model trains is me auto plant. Now me auto plant is going to be the Toyota plant in Cambridge, Canada. So I'll show you the, the Google Earth of the manufacturing plant. On the left side of the screen is the plant. You can see how massive it is, but I'll shrink it down so we can see it. Oops, wrong way. And there's the five auto racks that I'm doing. And also over here on the right, it looks like like a check-in station you know to load the cars on the auto rack so I will be doing that as well and this is the massive building now the building I'm going to actually do it in is going to be modern so it's going to be like it's a concrete building but if you notice that there's sort of no windows at all around the whole plant just doors and unloading docks and also the unloading docks here I just don't have the room to do that so my loading docks will be up the end but I'll be doing all the, the car parking so I just thought I'd show you what the plant actually looked like which as I said, I can't do the whole lot because it's too, far too big. So that is what I'm going to do. Um, I'll show you how I'm going to do it. Okay, the auto rack cork bed is now down. So when that dries, I'll put the tracks on. And that will finish the auto rack tracks. Okay, I've just finished laying the auto tracks track. So that's what she looks like from this end. And this this is what it looks like from the other end. Now this will be the loading area as you can see. So that part sort of finished now, just got to wire the tracks. So 
so I'll get on with the build now. Okay guys, the next build I'm going to do is my auto plant. Now what I'm, part of the building of the auto plant I'm going to use is this modern cold storage warehouse. As you can see. So that's part of the build and also what I'm going to be using is these boxes cardboard boxes minus the lid and that will also be part of the auto plant which I will make up looking similar to that without doors though with no doors or windows so I will make that and also change the boxes into a building. So I'll open it all up and we'll see what's inside. Now in the box obviously you get all the instructions on how to put it all together. But this is all the parts that that are in the box so all these will make that whole warehouse and I won't be using the whole lot because I don't want it looking like a cold storage unit and it is concrete design and all all the whole building is going to be as if it's concrete so I'll go ahead and make it